Hello and assalamu alaikum. My name is Salam Khan and I'm your mentor for the course of ACCA Financial Management. And uh, the, previously this course was known as F9 and, uh, and uh, most knowingly and the majority of the people uh, already knew it by this name and very familiar by this name. Uh, the course of financial management is actually basic, basing on the concepts how to manage finance. And in this course, you will be focusing on the key basic areas that are really, really important in order to pursue the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the profession of financial management or the profession regarding how to cope up with the, uh, the working capital, how to make a decision making, how to go for a business valuation. So this is a core course for that purpose. And this is one of the course that usually have uh, comparatively low passing ratios when it comes to the fundamental levels and in uh, comparison of the difficulty level this is quite like a different norm because uh, so far you guys would have covered the areas regarding somehow if you have attempted f7 earlier than the rest of the courses or uh, financial management you would have seen some sort of accounting or reporting financial reporting in your prior experiences or prior discussions or prior courses but in this course the focus will be totally orientation uh, will be upon the decision making that if there is a critical decision making in the financial decision making how you guys will be developing that case that decision making uh, scenario and how you will be making the decision accordingly so uh, in all this perspective, uh, this is uh, and, I mean, it's a, a broader image of the course. Now, let's uh, move upon that. How we will be pursuing this course in the in our further lectures, and how we will be going towards uh, the discussion areas and all. So, uh, first of all, uh, in in the in the area of financial management, the major topics that you need to focus uh, majorly on the core areas and that includes cost of capital that includes investment appraisal and then working capital risk management so these are the areas that are quite critical when preparing for the examination. When it comes to the number of hours, the number of uh, uh, preparatory, uh, uh, preparation hours, there should be, you should have at least, at least 200 hours available for assuring yourself that, uh, that you have done uh, a lot in for the preparation and in order to assure yourself that you you will going to pass this exam so in this concern these uh, the classes and the practice and the, all the sessions would be constituting uh, will be co uh, contributing around 70 plus hours uh, that include the videos the practice that uh, the question q and a session the live session and all so, and apart from that, you can see that more than 50% of the effort will be depending how serious you guys are. So it's more about practice and practice. So, uh, so this is all about regarding uh, 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 overview of the course. Uh, regarding me, I have been uh, i'm in the field of financial management and the lectureship or the uh, field of education from the last 10 or 15 uh, 10 or 12 years uh i'm currently working as, as uh, one of the country head of one of the financial institution and uh, based in oman and uh, and from the perspective of education i'm a acca member i have been to the member of uh it means mba from the iba karachi 
and uh, basically i'm into the field of financial management practically from the front of investment banking so and then investment banking what we do we all, we do all the things that you are going to study in this course and in the course of advanced financial management so in a way what i'm teaching is actually i'm applying as well so i have the both perspective so i would be able to pursue you guys and uh, make you realize how this course is really important to uh, carve out to your career plan so let's move on uh, the, this is brief uh, introduction from my side uh, if we come towards the week wise plan uh, let me shift towards the other document so these are the uh, this is the basic timelines i have developed uh, in order to uh, facilitate you guys so the consideration so this is the area this is defining a scope of work and all the region uh, and the, these are the, are the materials that would be available on the lms uh these are the materials that are basically in theoretical in nature there is too much theory involved and if we come towards the other regions that we need to consider so this is also too much of theory but these are all the conceptual points that can be uh tested in the section a or section b of the examination you should uh, keep a good time uh, for the uh, reading and all the stuff and uh, in order to practice all the stuff but if it, it these are our source of boredom you can keep it for, uh, for the last uh, uh, couple of hours your last set of hours you are keeping for before the examination and you can proceed with the, the other parts of the, the syllabus working capital is one of the major area the section a section b is a favorite area to be tested upon so uh, i have given a tentative schedule that how you guys on day to day basis can manage up for the preparation and the learning and uh, apart from that if you want uh, your own set of schedule that you can jot down as well but this is something as a benchmark you should you guys should keep in mind okay so in the working capital you will be discussing more about how to manage the working capital the day to day operate the finance required for the day to day operation of the entity and apart from that you will be discussing uh, the inventory cycle uh, the how it is managed the receivable cycle the cash cycle the cash management just in time and other areas so there is a lot of material already been uploaded on the lms for your guidance and this is this topic i would always say this is the king this is a king topic of all this is the most important in when it comes to uh, your decision making when it comes to the crux of this course is basically uh, revolving around this is some sort of like uh, center point on which the financial management revolves so and this is a really important topic that includes how to make decision making payback pre discounted cash flows and pv irr and uh, then uh, on the same concepts you will be reading through in this topic the whole of the scenarios regarding the decision making the valuation will built on the pillars on the basis of the concepts that are are being discussed in this area then afterwards uh there are certain extensive examples example uh, practice questions are there there will be uh, certain assignments uh, will also be there so you will be uh, witnessing a whole crux of uh, new set of ideas new set of uh, 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 making decision 
of uh, regarding your businesses and these are the core areas that are really important then it comes the next important area that is regarding the cost of finance the cost of capital how it is the uh, calculated how it is differentiated among the cost of debt cost of renewable debt cost of equity and accordingly uh, the relevant model that are required to be learned in order to pursue this course so these all are really important areas and then afterward it comes to asset investment and capital rationing this is also based on the concept of Uh, the previous section like in uh, valuation investment appraisal cost of capital and now you are applying those concepts in terms of what if there is a there are two similar projects and uh, you have uh, a budget that can be utilized in three of the uh, 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 you have two similar projects but you have only option to pursue one of the projects so how you will be making the, those decisions uh, what is the concept rega- regarding divisible non divisible project and all these concepts will be considered in this section then afterwards uh, you will be having certain more areas like uh, sensitivity analysis scenario analysis risk versus uncertainty uh, uncertainty adjusted paybacks all these areas will be discussed in this section and this is quite like the the these are certain uh, like like branches uh, of the investment appraisal and cost of capital that are uh, uh, extending up to the various scenarios uh, so uh, the, these are quite helpful if you, uh, the uh, or i would say it would be easy to understand if you have done a lot of practice in the investment appraisal scenarios investment appraisal i just forgot to say one thing that in investment appraisal uh, the point is it's a very important when it comes to section b and section c so it is really important area uh now let's talk about the rest of the topics risk management and interest rate this is a sort of a nightmare uh, for those uh, who are doing advanced financial management but to just to convey some uh, to an extent a comfort uh, these two areas the currency risk and the interest rate risk uh both areas this is i r its interest rate is not the internal rate of return don't confuse with both of these uh, uh, means abbreviations so these are quite difficult but these are the regions that are more practical in terms of when it comes to uh, uh, in practical environment when you will be working the treasury department of any good bank when you will be managing your treasury of any uh, financial institution you have to hedge your position you have to be sure that if i'm buying currency today it will depreciate or will not depreciate if the, you have a consignment you have to make payment to a certain foreign uh, seller so in order to make payment you have to be sure in order to you have to be uh, very much sure that you you are covered against the currency risk uh, and the changes in the currency scenario so you have to be very focused in that term. so these are the basics uh, on the, on those tracks it means these are just the starting points so you have to be sure in that term that you are uh, doing well Th- these are pretty much uh, a new concept a pretty difficulty level would be not as high as in the advanced financial management but you have to do some sort of calculation like hedging money market hedging calculation you will be reading about what are the money market what is money market actually so uh, you will be discussing regarding what are the different basic methods of managing your currency risk you will be discussing about the yield curve what is yield curve or what are derivatives what sort of derivatives are there what is the definition of derivatives and uh, to an extent you have to do some calculations but not a lot of calculations in terms of uh, when it comes to the exam issues okay then move on moving on it will be business valuation business valuation is just uh, means uh, when you have done all the things now you are up ready 
to value your business, value someone else's business to make out a decision whether to invest in certain equities or not, to go for that or not, to uh, the base on the different uh, scenarios like whether you will be valuing an entity on the basis of future cash flows or you will be valuing in, in terms of multiple price to earning ratio or you will be dis uh, discussing other bases like uh, on the basis of asset allocation and asset income based valuation so these are all the scenarios that is covered uh, means if uh, in, in the section c this can be uh, tested in means uh, in a way that uh, it can come in a strategic manner that the first part will be to, uh, asking you topics uh, asking you questions regarding to, uh, the concepts and the investment appraisal or cost of capital then they build on the question and the scenario and afterward there will be a full fledged uh, question that you needed to be uh, worked on the excel sheet on the or the spreadsheet and build up a model uh, sort of thing so this is something also really important one thing you should note that the number of topics are the critical number critical number of topics are quite less but the depth but the level of practice that is required to ace this exam is quite so much so you have to be precise you have to be very sure that you are allocating good sum of time for your practice okay then i will try my level best that we should have a revision web nab on the i'm just as i'm starting the session quite earlier so the i'm i've just made up that by the 5th may or the 10th may you would be free from all these things and you have to suffice time for your self-isolated practice so in that manner this course is designed there would be live sessions that we can have in the uh, these are dates are uh, wrongfully uh, mentioned so let's just focus on these areas these are just i'm focusing on uh, six sessions or live sessions in which we can have some discussions these are the major core discussion areas that I, that are currently depicting on the screen but uh, these topics will be decided after discussing with you guys that what topics you need to be discussed live and we should have a live discussion so there will be discussion a lot of discussion okay uh, apart from all these uh, scenarios that are discussed that you, uh, how to pursue with the thing uh, uh, the practice and the topics either go in the manner that have been jotted down uh, like the financial management environment uh, management environment then working capital then investment appraisal so if you are build up and you don't want to do uh, theoretical areas first so at least start with the working capital not means not where uh, you can't jump to investment appraisal or cost of capital directly so you have to do working capital investment appraisal then cost of capital then you will be in a position to do directly business valuation or sens uh, sensitive sensitivity uh, there is no link between the risk management and the investment appraisal precisely as far as the f9 is concerned means it's not like that if you're doing a risk management question uh, and you have some of the concept you then you are a bit weak in investment appraisal that uh, less likely that there will be any direct relationship and uh, so so uh, this is regarding uh, the, the way you have to take. Now, uh, first step that uh, either you have to do uh, from the financial management environment or you can start from the working capital topic. Second thing, there are notes on the LMS. Those notes are just for the purpose of, of uh, revising, refreshing your concept. These are not at all the benchmark means you don't have to just depend upon uh, the notes that are available you have to do much greater than the notes so uh, for i i always say i just making that alert that book reading is must book reading as is must means i can't teach i can't make better videos without a good book so uh, unfortunately uh, various students go for the shortcuts 
or uh, various teachers actually uh, guide you through to do the these short curves and those and you will be a singer examination and all for me examination is primary but for me the greater picture is that you will be working in good organizations uh, in the in the foreseeable future and you will be acing, aiming for very good position and all in those scenarios you need to have very strong base so i always say if you are reading the uh, starting with the topic of working capital uh, keep a book with you whether it's a, it's a kaplan whether it's a bpp whether any other tax that you like so just keep it with you uh, keep, uh, start with the working capital you are doing the the inventory videos uh, with me in the, uh, from the platform just refer back to the to, to the topics uh, if you're doing uh, uh, investment appraisal for example just start reading investment appraisal as well for me i actually like uh, the way Kaplan writes. So personally, I recommend Kaplan. Uh, otherwise, you can also go for BPP if you uh, are like to have a more of a text reading. And then there are other writers as well. Uh, all are really good. There are other reference uh, uh, website like Open Edition is openly available. There are other platforms available that are free to access. You can utilize all those information. But to be precisely, if you want to pass the examination and, and you have short of you are short of time, you have to have at least 200 hours, hours for the shows. You have to have at least 100 good hours of practice plus video watching plus plus the mocks and all. And after doing so all this uh, reading and the third point that I need to highlight is practice. You should have at least, I'm saying at least 10 exam questions, 10 past papers, uh, full fledged questions uh, per topic, at least. If you don't have the time, at least you, could, you should have the, the, that level of practice. And uh, apart from the practice thing, the most important area that most of the students like is the mock examination don't go for any mock examination like uh, i'm not saying don't go for mock examination i'm saying don't go for any mock examination that is to be paid means uh, it's not necessary you have to pay for the mock examination what i'm trying to convey is that if you are done with your uh, topics majority of the topics set an alarm clock sit behind, uh, in front of the screen uh, start developing the question, utilize, uh, uh, solve the past paper question, solve the mock uh, structure that I will be providing you guys for practice. But in order to assure that you are not uh, uh, ruining your attempt out of the examination, attempt distance that, that many of the people haven't used the Excel valuation in their life before the this course because of the fact that they don't they don't have to do that that because they would be working for example for financial reporting or any other scenarios or any other section of their offices but in this scenario if you are attending for the first time that you will be doing the for example evaluation or you will be calculating mpv so it will be really hard task to handle the spreadsheets in the live examination so do it at home in the mock environment. First of all, keep discussing with me what's the problem, what are the queries, what are the major areas you need to consider. So in short, if I just discuss with you that start with the walking apple, at least the walking apple and there after the sequence. Uh, secondly, you have to do a lot of book reading uh, uh, alongside with practice. Uh, and then the practice have to be done a lot fourth mock examination so uh, i wish you a very good luck uh, and uh, i am hopeful that you guys will be acing this exam much easily and much professionally in a very learned manner and uh, if you need any sort of assistant if you need any sort of support whatsapp you guys are added up into the whatsapp group those who have uh, registered 
and those who are passing through the free trial sections if there if a free trial sections usually a sample based some of the topics are available if you want to see some of the the critical areas topics from the into the free trial or you want to witness the, those areas as well we can provide you access for that as well and uh, the my number is available 24/7 but I usually respond in 24 hours if there is a very critical question or in a couple of hours if there is a sort of a conceptual or a one line of recording is required. I do always provide that on time on timely basis. So that's all for today and uh, hoping to see you soon with uh, with being an ACC member, FCCA and affiliate uh, in the future times ahead. So, best of luck.